Hello, everyone. It's Saturday night. Welcome to the Jonathan Ross Show. And what a show we've got for you tonight. Wait till you see what I've got in the green room. From Hollywood, the star of Fast and Furious 6 is Mr Vin Diesel. Look at that. That's a, there's a lot of that going on. I've been working out to get ready for you, Vin. <laughs> Mr. Vin Diesel, I don't know if people know this, but I know... <laughs> don't cheer every time you see him. He's just a big, bald bloke, all right? <laughs> Vin, you're, you're keen to do a musical, aren't you? Yeah, I am. He is keen to do a musical. I really am. And you've got a good singing voice as well, I believe. I hope so. OK. I'd like to try. <laughs> I have a suggestion for you. Why not make an action musical? I love it. How about Mary Effin Poppins with Dick Vin Diesel? <laughs> oh, Jonathan! <laughs> Diesel! I don't know. I don't know if you've heard of Vin. But, uh, Vin, great to have you here, man. That's quite a welcome, isn't it? That's a it's hero's an welcome. It's amazing welcome. Okay. It's, uh, and it's great to be here. Well, it's great to have you back on screen as Dominic. Tor is it Toretto? His name That's is right. Dominic Toretto in Fast and Furious Six. Is out next Friday, 17th of May. I enjoyed it. I love seeing you in action. <laughs> I love the racing scenes. And I'll tell you what I do love about it as well, which was... And I didn't expect this. I didn't know... This one, there's big racing scenes in London. And that's great to see. And I didn't even know you were over here filming it. How long were you over in London filming those Six things? months. Why didn't you call? Why didn't you come on a show? What's wrong with that's you? That's what I was wondering. I was like, why aren't you calling me? Well, I didn't know where you were. But everyone else in London knew I was here. <laughs> hey, uh, how did you get the London streets clear there? Because you were racing around like crazy. It took me almost two hours to drive, like, six miles <laughs> to get here today. <laughs> when were you filming? Like, middle of the night, early morning? We actually filmed uh, while the Olympics were here. Oh, man. So while the world was racing during the day in London, Fast and Furious was racing during the night. So we were looking over there during the daytime, and at nighttime you were over there, Precisely. kind of undercover darkness. Okay. That's right. Let me ask you about this is the thing about uh, Fast and Furious. I love is obviously I'm not really what you would call a petrol head. That's the phrase we have over yeah. here. Do you know? What I mean? Yeah. I'm not. I mean, I like seeing nice cars, beautiful motors. The racing in these films is extraordinary. Yeah. Uh, and you do do some of that yourself. You yeah. do do some of the stunts yourself. Uh, when More you were... than I should. OK, and, and you do the motorcycling as well? I wasn't on a motorcycle. Not in that film, <laughs> but in <laughs> Triple X? Yes. Yeah. OK, so you love yes. motor vehicles? I think what happens is once the director says action, <laughs> I'll do anything. Action! <laughs> it's one, one young gay man in the audience with a dream. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, so, you come back to this series now, and this one, I mean, it is, this has got, of all of them, the most action in it. Yeah. I mean, this one is off the scale with sheer craziness, OK? That's and it's right. you, and it's The Rock. Now, we all love The Rock. Yeah. <laughs> Difficult for me to pronounce him, but we all love Dwayne, <laughs> OK? Uh, and he's even bigger than you. He is bigger I than I mean, me. you're a big guy. And he is definitely bigger than me. He's how much bigger than you is he? 60 pounds. Wow. And, and height-wise? Two, three inches? No, more than that. Well, don't push it. OK. <laughs> uh, presumably you were muscular youth as well, were you? Uh, I started training when I was 15. OK, so when in... Because I know uh, we were talking last time we met about uh, uh, Multifacial. That's right. The film you wrote and directed, you showed a can, and that's what opened the door for you. You made your own luck. I mean, Vin's not one of these guys who worked for happened. He made his own luck. He got the situation rolling for himself there, and I have nothing but admiration for you there. But before that, you, uh, you did a bit of break dancing, I believe? Kind of. Who, who was doing the old-school rapping while you were doing the old-school popping and locking? When I was break dancing, I was break dancing uh, at a place called Times Square in New York City. <laughs> And I would break dance in the uh, subway or at Columbus Circle or in the village at the Washington Square Park. 
Yeah, I've been down there, and the kids still do it down there sometimes. I mean, do they? Of, yeah, they do different kind of like drumming. You get down there, and yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Good, Jonathan. Okay. Can we talk was... about something else no, for a second? Yet. Please, boy... wait. I just want to say one thing. What's that? I'm not going to sell you down the river, and this is not even for you. In fact, close your, shut your, don't listen to this, guys. I just want to tell you guys something. I love Jonathan Ross, yes. <laughs> and I mean it. And I'm not, I'm not just, I'm not just saying that. I'm not just saying that. I mean it. They say, I mean, to the degree where, like, I'm coming over here and they're saying, okay, we got to do our pre-interview. Hold it, your head's salty like a peanut. Hey, be nice. <laughs> I know what you're up to. You don't want me to show this clip? Oh, you're cruel. Oh, come on, don't. <laughs> this is fabulous, but it doesn't look anything if like it. If you're here. showing a clip, it's cruel. It doesn't matter who it is, but it's something... It's, it's... I love to see old school popping and locking. It's not. <laughs> you do the booger and you do the loo. Come on, Vin. Vin, okay, give me. Okay, all right. Give can me. I have your permission to show this? Yes, ma'am. We'll just tell it yes. because this is awesome. This is Vin. I never knew you did this. This is from 1984. How old were you then? 16. 16 years old, okay? Just turned 16. This is Vin in action. Check it out. Just throw your hands in the air. He can do everything. Those were the good, those were the good, good old days. Genuinely, that must have been great fun, wasn't it? Being a kid and it doing that so in New York fun. City. You, you want to know what's so strange, Jonathan? The guy that's in that video is in the green room right now. No way. Cut to Dave in the dr green room, please, immediately. The guy who came to he's there. They're trying to find him. He left when we showed the clip, apparently. <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, wow! <laughs> How did you do that? I, How did you do I, that, I, Jonathan? I, I, I just recognised him, and oh I said... Oh, my God! <laughs> Come on down. Oh, wow. That's oh, great. That's great. That's great. That's, that's incredible. Super. So you guys are still hanging out together? Still brothers. Wow, that's marvellous. What's your name, sir? David. Bro. David. So, David, do you still, do you still rap? No. That was breakdancing, by the way. <laughs> but he was doing a little bit of the MC as well, wasn't he? No, he wasn't. Really wasn't really he doing any MC? Who Crush was... Grooving? Was that not You talking... know that song. Oh, did Crush Grooving? Oh, yes. Now I know, yes. <laughs> OK. <laughs> What are you doing? You're twittering. No, 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 I gotta do something. It's like having, it's like having Will I Am out here. He's always no, be there. nice, be nice. No, one second, okay. one second. No, this is for my daughter. Hang on a minute. All right. You want me to take a picture of you with your No, no, I just have to send a message to her. Okay, are we ready here? She's gonna say, Who's that creepy guy over your shoulder there? <laughs> I'm gonna do a handsome face. Hi, Amor. <laughs> Daddy's in London with Jonathan Ross. It's official, we're partners now. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be home soon, but look at what Daddy's dealing with, a beautiful audience. <laughs> I love you, I love you, I love you. <laughs> Sorry, you, when you're on the road a lot and you have little kids. How old is your baby? She's just turned five. Wow, so that is still a baby. That's still, still a little, a little one. Man, that's nice. You can have And the two-year-old doesn't, doesn't understand Daddy leaving. No. Because Dad goes, and why is Daddy going away? Why is Daddy leaving? And how long do you spend away from them? When you were filming here for the six months, did they come over here with you? Yeah. <laughs> they had to. Did they like... I tried to, to come over here without them, and after two weeks, it's too painful. So we got a house in St. George's Hill, right next to Yoko. Wow. That's really nice. Yeah, it was very nice. Now, I read that you were considering or being considered for a new film based on one of my favourite television shows of all time, Kojak. 
starring the great Telly Savalas. Yes, yes, that's right. Now, I love Telly Savalas. I love that series, and I could see you would be great in that role. Um, but one of the things I used to love about Telly Savalas, I used to collect... I, seriously, I used to collect pictures of him in his trunks. <laughs> really? He always used to do interviews like that. And, man, if any, ever a man knew how to rock a speedo, it was Telly Savalas. <laughs> so I'm hoping that if you take the role, we're yeah. going to see some of that action from you as well. I will do that. I promise you. Are you doing the role? Is it happening? I am doing the role. Wow. I didn't know that was official. That's incredible. I am doing the role. That's great. Did Kojak air over here? Kojak was huge over here. Oh, Kojak really? was huge over here. I think it was huge all over the world. And one of the reasons why it was huge was he was so great in the lead role. It was a great character, but he was so great. So you have got their big shoes to fill, of course. Huge shoes. He, it was shot in my neighborhood growing up. Where was that? That was in the Bronx or something? In the village, okay. in the downtown New York. So. I would see Telly Savalas when I was a kid come into my building. Man. And he had no idea that someday I would portray him or portray Kojak. But I guess you had hair then, so you had no idea that you I would had be such no a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, what about the musical? Because when I first met you, it was years and years I ago. I would love to do a musical. And you wanted to do Guys and Dolls, you were talking about. I would love about. to do Guys and Dolls. Okay, and you've got a pretty good singing voice? I don't know about that, but I would love to do Guys and Dolls. Could you do a little bit of Guys and Dolls for us now? You know any of it? You know any of it? I, I haven't checked this with Vin, so I don't know if he even knows the words. Uh, I kind of like the, um, the song where, he's, where, where Marlon Brando sings, I'll know when my love comes along. I'll know. Come on, guys. You got, That's you got pretty it. good. That's pretty good. That was nice. Uh, Vin, you know, genuinely, I love having you on the show. You're a yeah. great sport, you're a man, and I think you're a tremendous actor as well. And I can't oh, see you. I can't wait to see you fulfil that potential and give everyone the chance to see you as well. Because people are there is a prejudice against action films, and there shouldn't be, because they're just as hard to make a good action movie as any other kind of movie. And you do them on the best. And the exciting thing as well is, and we're not giving anything away here, at the end of Fast and Furious Six, clearly, you're doing a sequel. <laughs> and clearly, you're starring in it. And, we'll, and we'll, the, the Rock will be back in it. Yeah! And we can't really mention the other guy. You can't that's a really surprise. mention the other one, but they would love it. It's, so, it's going to be so cool who the other guy is at the end. It's so cool. It's tempting, I, I know. Joe Pasquale. OK, I've said it. <laughs> it's going to be great. Uh, so good to have you back here. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr Vin Diesel! <laughs> Thank you so much.